Hello everyone, it's Shane Kanto, your Wasteland Reviewer, and I'm here to review Amazon's new series, Utopia. And this is from creator Jillian Flynn, who wrote Gone Girl, and... Oh my. So, right off the bat, what a horrible idea to release this film in 2020. Maybe they're thinking, oh, it's super relatable because it's dealing with a pandemic, and... They're, but the thing is, this film is so filled with conspiracies about, like, what's this vaccine? Are they trying to inject, inject us with things? Because, like, all the main characters of this are a bunch of conspiracy theorists. And as it turns out, there's malicious intent going on with these vaccines. Who started this virus? And I feel like this film, if taken seriously, is going to incite some things. And I really hope that if you're watching this show, don't don't take this literally and discredit what's going on in the real world. And like when a vaccine comes out, please get it. And don't turn into like they're trying to like do all these crazy things to us and stuff like that. Because like I feel like this film's gonna f really just the show's gonna incite some thoughts and I really hope that people don't take it too literally and seriously and think that this is related to what we're all going through actually but besides the point that this should never have been released in 2020 and it was extremely stupid that it was Utopia is an intriguing story it has a lot of mystery and twists to it it's very violent and it has this really dark, foreboding tone to it. You have this cast of a whole bunch of actors. It's interesting seeing like a John Cusack and Rain Wilson popping up in here. Um, Sasha Lane, who was in the most recent Hellboy film, leading the way as this young woman. And this strange conspiracy that seems to be like played out in some kind of like comic book. And there's this virus infecting kids. And then, like, Rain Wilson's trying to work on a vaccine, and John Cusack runs the company that's working on the vaccine. And there's a lot of characters, it's a lot of trying to balance a lot of ideas, a lot of characters. There's a lot of action and intensity at moments. It's shocking. The show's gonna grab your attention, and for what it is, it works really well as a thriller and a mystery. And I just feel like you build some of these connections with these characters. It's trying to do too much, trying to balance too many characters, too many ideas. And in the end, there's a lot of things to keep track of. And you really have to be paying close attention to make sure that you're keeping track of everything that's going on with all these different characters, where they're all coming from. And, like, <laughs> this is a weird comparison, but it kind of feels like uh, the third Pirates movie, where you're just so many characters, so many plot threads going on, and then, like, everybody's, like, at each other at times, and it's just, like, maybe this show could have focused a little bit more on some certain things, but it's definitely intriguing enough to keep your attention and gives enough thrills for you to have a solid time watching it, and I'm intrigued on where the second season's gonna go, and there's some strong performances in this show, but yet again, why'd this have to get released this year? You should have just pushed it back. And it felt really insensitive in the fact that this film came out in 2020, and not smart. So, mind the things that I said at the beginning of the review, but in general, Utopia is a crazy sci-fi fantasy kind of myst mysterious thriller going on, and it has some cool elements also has a lot of elements. But in the end, I had a good time with it. But those are my thoughts on Utopia. Let me know what you think and let's talk some movies and TV. But thank you as always for tuning in and supporting your Wasteland Reviewer.